Hey guys, it's Jess and I'm back with another What's Sold video for the month of December. And real quick, since I have a ton of new subscribers, I thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel and commenting below. I really appreciate that you want to spend your time with me. So just a quick introduction is I am Jess. I have a full-time job. Um, I do eBay and Poshmark part-time. I've been on eBay for 15 years, so I'm pretty, pretty good at this stuff. Um, I've been on Poshmark for two years. I think I know a little bit about it. So if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. But yeah, thanks for stopping by and clicking on my video and I hope you enjoy. So we're just gonna go ahead and start with Poshmark. There's a few more sales than I normally do. So I'm going to share 16 sales with you today. So the first item I wanna share with you that sold on Poshmark was a pair of Isabel Morant shoes. And I actually got these in my first 25 pairs of shoes thread out box, which was super duper exciting because I've already made like $100 on that box and I've only sold like six or seven pairs of shoes. So that's awesome. I guess didn't know who Isabel Morant is and she is pretty well known. So um, I ended up selling these uh, shoes for $85. And if we average out all of the pairs of shoes and what I paid, I only paid $3.82 for them. So the next sale that I want to share is a wild fox, um, like Santa, what did, what did it say? It said, somebody at the North Pole heart loves me. So that was just like a plain t-shirt, but I did find it at my favorite liquidation store. And this store, you kind of have to dig for stuff. So it's, it's kind of a hunt, but sometimes it's really worth it. So this uh, sale happened to be for $47 and I paid 10, which isn't bad for new with tags, wild fox. So my next sale I wanted to share was a Barefoot Dreams cozy chic um, cardigan. So this was super soft. I don't remember what the material was, but I guess Barefoot Dreams is known for being super soft and comfortable. So this is funny because I actually found it in my little honey hole of a consignment store and I bring stuff in for them to sell so I typically have credits already so I basically paid nothing for this which is pretty awesome um, but I ended up selling it for $57 and it sold within like a couple days so that's pretty awesome so here's a tip for you if you shop consignment stores so I don't know if all consignment stores will be this way but in my consignment store, there is one lady who buys like super expensive brands and she brings them in. So I typically look for a certain number on the actual tags because they're the person's ID, I guess. And then if I see that number, then I know it's something to look up because some of the brands I'm like, nah, I don't know, that looks, that looks good, but I don't know. And then I look it up and I'm like, okay, well, this could sell for $100, so. Oh, just a tip or trick to keep in mind, if you go to a consignment store and you find a lot of good brands, then just go ahead and see if you can find any more with that number. My next sale is another pair of shoes that came from a thread up box. This was my last thread up box. Um, it was a pair of Birkenstocks and I actually sold them while making another video, which was pretty cool. And I will link that up above but these ended up selling for $40. I did kind of have a strategy to try to get that $40 and I received a, an awesome love note from her. Um, and then if you part out all of the shoes that I listed, it came out to be $4.20. So another like a super awesome find is I found an Owen Berry. I never heard of this brand. Um, it was a cowhide leather purse, so it was it was like real fur. So I asked to see it. It was in the case, and the lady was like, "I can't touch that. I'm just I can't touch that." <laughs> so she had to call somebody else to go get it. Anyways, um, I ended up, I paid up for it. It was seventy dollars, um, but I ended up selling it 
for $175. So that's pretty awesome. And what do you know, I sold another pair of shoes from my last thread up box. Um, I actually received a comment from somebody who told me these were a good pair of shoes. And I was like, I know because they sold already this past weekend. And this was part of my Instagram post about relisting higher if you're getting constant low ball offers. So I was getting those constant low ball offers. And usually I wait the 24 hours I don't normally decline, but I just declined this one because I kept getting these offers and I wanted these shoes gone like yesterday. So I ended up raising the price and then they, um, somebody came in and offered me my original price of my first listing. So I went ahead and took that. So these sold for $45 and if we part out all the shoes again, it was $4.20. I apologize if my bra keeps showing. That's kind of embarrassing. This is a maternity shirt. <laughs> and the last time I was pregnant was like five years ago. So I wear old clothes. Yes, I do. <laughs> so the last thing that I want to share that I ended up selling on Poshmark was a pair of Vionic shoes. And I always hear about Vionic shoes. I have never found them. I've never really looked for them either, but this Goodwill that I found them at was having their grand opening, so there was no sale, but there was a lot of good stuff. Like, I think they saved up all of their good stuff so that they could put it out and, you know, attract more people, which they attracted me because I was in there, you know, buying stuff. <laughs> but I found these pair of Bionic shoes. They are pediatric or made by a podiatrist. Um, specifically for a certain foot, but these ended up selling for $67 and I only paid four, so pretty awesome. And now let's move on to my eBay sales. So the first item that I want to share with you that I sold on eBay was a Kate Spade white tank top, but it was more like career wear. Um, I pick up Kate Spade if ever I see it. Uh, I don't see it too often and this was kind of a cool find because the Goodwill employee only charged me a dollar for everything I bought that day. So I mean I didn't buy too much but I don't think he knew what he was doing so he rung everything up at 75% off. So that's cool. I got this for a dollar and I sold it for $37.77. Well, the next thing that I want to share is a pair of Michael Simon snowman flats. So these were super cute and I found them like maybe a couple weeks before Christmas. So I had to get them listed fast. And it's pretty awesome because I actually, during my lunch break, I went to Goodwill, found these, took pictures at my desk real quick and listed them. And then by the time I left work for the day, they had sold. So. <laughs> I usually go home and then I take better pictures, but I wanted to get these on immediately and they sold for $45 and I only paid eight. So the next item that I want to share is a Theory cashmere sweater, but it was short sleeves. And this is another consignment store find. Um, it did have that lady's number on it, but I recognized the Theory tag. So, you know, I was good to go there. And I was like, ooh, this material is nice. So I checked the material tag, 100% cashmere. It was over. It was mine. And again, I had credits. So I basically got this for free, but the price on it was $10. And I sold it for $57.77 and I offered free shipping, but it literally cost me like $3. First class. So the next thing I want to share is another pair of shoes from a thread up box, which is awesome because I've been selling so many pairs of shoes, but I still have so many pairs of shoes left. But this was from my first 25 shoe box, so I only ended up paying $3.82 for these, but I sold them for $57.77. And I kept going back and forth with people. Everybody would ask me for less and I offered a little bit less, but it just, I guess it wasn't in their price range. 
But anyways, these I raised the price and then I did free shipping and then somebody snatched these up. So $57.77 is what they sold for. So the next item I want to share is actually from my last eBay tips and tricks video. Um, so this was a Ray Dunn set. I found just bits and pieces after Easter. So it was clearanced and I think I only paid $18 for this and I did a relist but sell similar on this and it did sell within three days. Being an Easter item, you wouldn't think that it would sell right now, but it did after a sell similar. And if you want to learn more, I'll link the video up above. So I paid $18 and I ended up selling this for $47.77. And the last and final sale is a big one, so I hope you're ready. It is a Star Wars inflatable Christmas blow up thing for your yard, but it was huge. Like we didn't take it out of the box. I mean, that's rude. Who does that? Anyways, we found this last year um, after Christmas and we bought it just a store in our basement. It's not gonna harm anything. It's not taking up any space. But we bought this. I made my husband actually go out and find this. Um, I think it was 50 or 60% off. So we paid $80 and I ended up selling it this year for $177.77. And it went overseas. So this lady paid a ton because this is, this was a huge box and it was like, I think 10 pounds. Um, I didn't use the global shipping program for this. I just uh, shipped it myself using international priority mail. And when you ship international, it's usually your best bet to probably use pirate ship and maybe just a little bit cheaper. So it's worth checking out. But yeah, turning $80 into 177 was pretty great. So those were my sales for December 2019. I am super excited for January 2020 because January is usually my best month. I don't know why I keep pointing like this, but either way, um, a happy new year and stay positive. And I hope you guys have tons of sales and I look forward to making more tips and tricks videos for you guys. and of course, what's old videos. So if you like this content, please subscribe. Please hit that like button too, because that helps out my channel. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.